Hello everyone, welcome to the second tutorial where I'll be showing you how to run an interactive job on Compute Canada, uh, specifically how to run Jupyter on an interactive node on Compute Canada for deep learning. Now this uh, tutorial uses information from the first tutorial and my blog post, so if you haven't watched that or read the blog post with the instructions on how to set up your environment, I suggest you do that now before watching this video. Anyway, assuming that you've done that, uh, I'll begin the tutorial now. So we'll be working with the same uh, pretend project that I had started previously, which I'd called Compute Canada Tutorial. Um, here are the simple files, and we've already installed some uh, basic Python libraries on that. Now, if you want to use Jupyter, make sure you install Jupyter Lab both on your local computer and on Compute Canada. Uh, and that's simply, uh, so let me just activate my Python environment first, and then you would run pip install Jupyter Lab and um, finish this off and do the same thing on Compute Canada after activating your Python environment. Now, after that's done, you want to go ahead and log on to Compute Canada. And then um, set up your Python environment as always. So you want to load whatever Python version you are using. And activate it, your environment that you already set up. Like so. And then you want to copy and paste these following commands into uh, your terminal. So they are in the blog post here. Uh, these two commands essentially create uh, two small scripts which run both uh, either a Jupyter notebook or Jupyter lab without a browser. And so it's kind of just having a short code or a shortcut at hand so you don't have to type these uh, long commands out each time. So here I'm pasting them and making them executable. Now you're ready to start an interactive job, which is quite simple. So as opposed to sbatch, which is what we used for submitting job scripts, we use salloc for interactive jobs. Um, and uh, this time I'm going to request a GPU just to show you um, that in action. So it looks something like this, and we can try multiple GPUs. And let's do about 10 minutes off compute time. And we can try maybe just four or two gigabytes of memory. So I'm going to request this. And oh, so it tells you helpfully when you request GP, also specify the number of nodes. So you could do nodes equals one. Let's hope this works. OK, so the job has been submitted uh, and your allocation is pending. And once uh, you'll get, you'll see a notification here once you do get allocated that interactive node. OK, so the allocation was finally granted and we now have access to our interactive node. Now, um, remember we asked for four GPUs, so we can actually confirm that by running this command, NVIDIA SMI, and it should show that we do have four GPUs, um, each with 32 gigabytes of um, virtual or sort of video RAM. And um, I think it should also say the GPU, yeah, so there are V100 GPUs as we requested. So this is great. So the next thing to do is to um, run one of our scripts that we wanted to do uh, and also activate our um, Python environment first. So let's go ahead and do that.
And now we can simply um, access one of the scripts. So I'm going to try the Jupyter Lab script and run it. Okay, so now the Jupyter Lab server is running and we're given this URL. Now, if we're running it on a local computer, we'd usually just click on this and be taken to the web page where we can do um, what we want to do in Jupyter. But you can't do that on Compute Canada. Instead, you need to create a pipe from your local computer to this interactive node to be able to access Jupyter Lab. So the first thing you want to do is just copy this part of this URL. Anything that uh, the, everything that starts CDR onwards and ends uh, in four numbers. Let's copy this. And then you want to create a pipe by using SSH and then the L option. And then you want to type in four eights and then paste that uh, URL that you copied. And then finally followed by your username at cedar.computecanada.ca. And this should create the pipe. Now you can simply go to localhost uh, and then followed by four eights. And you will be asked for a token to authenticate, um, or in this case, we don't have to, but sometimes you're asked for a token. And if you are, then you need to copy the token that is here, everything followed by token equals. Uh, copy that, this here, copy it and paste it into the website when asked. Now here we are in um, Jupyter Lab. We can see all our project files here. For example, the job script that we wrote in our Python program. And of course we can create a new notebook as needed. So we can create a new Python notebook here and um, do what we want. And that's how you use Jupyter with Compute Canada. Thank you so much for watching. And I hope that you have um, a fun time using Compute Canada and doing your deep learning projects on it. Thank you.